This is the finale of Loki, episode six. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andrew, this is Adam. This is It Takes Two Takes. We've watched every one of these. We've recorded, we've got videos, every single one of these episodes. If you haven't seen them, check them out. If you like what you see, you know what to do. I'm not gonna ruin the watch time of this video, Adam, by giving a very long-winded pitch. I'm looking forward to this. I, I want it to all come full circle, especially the fun they seem to have with this world building. Let me see that happen in this episode, and uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pretty good with it. I don't know that we're gonna get any more Loki alligator spinoff series. That's a whole other thing. We'll react to that if it happens. Uh, I think the older Loki uh, recently commented that he'd like to do a spinoff series with him and alligator Loki. I'm on board. So, I'm on board. Where do we, let's make that happen. Who knows? Pre premium access, yeah. thirty dollars. I don't even care. Let's go. Uh, I don't know that anyone commented on the video, and I think I commented on when we saw like the camera kind of panned through the ground going down to the underground Loki layer. There was a, uh, like a Thor frog oh, yeah. stuck in a jar. Right. Uh, apparently Chris Hemsworth did the voice of that Thor for that scene. Nice. Is this a little tidbit about the last episode that I thought was interesting? Well, let's see what other tidbits we find in this one. Let's wrap this thing up. What do you say? All right. All right. Sounds good. Way to go, Tic Tac. That's how you punch. What's happening? Oh, a friend from work. Friend from work. These, these are our lines from the movies. Well, that was an opening. Right. That's why the uh, that one episode looks so cheesy on the planet special <laughs> effects. They spent all their time on this. Right, right. Their whole budget put in these first, uh, you know, sixty to ninety seconds. Oh, the the uh, the castle thing that they're walking up to at the end of the last episode. Right. Well, we're getting weird already, and I can appreciate that. How strange is anything Doctor Strange going to be after this? Like, you're going to have to one up all of this leading up to it. The Wandavision, Loki. Well, and it's the multiverse of madness, right. so that'll be even, you know. I was pruned before you even existed. I have been waiting for this moment my entire life. I just need a second to get my head straight. Okay. Oh yeah, well, we've been waiting for it for five episodes now. Is it wrong I want Tim Curry to show up as a butler right Ooh, now? Ooh, that would be great. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> It's about to take a drink when Miss Minutes shows up, pops right. right into my face. And he wants to offer you a deal. He's been making a few creative adjustments, and he's worked it out so we can reinsert both of y'all back into the timeline in a way that won't disrupt things. Won't disrupt things. That's convenient. Mm -hmm. The TVA can keep doing its vital work, and y'all can live the lives you've always wanted. Hmm. I mean, they're Lokis. Can they possibly believe this is achievable without strings yeah, attached? Right. A lot of times. Wait, are these timekeepers, right? Statues of reminiscent of timekeepers. One shattered. That's why there was only three before, maybe? I swear, if Miss Minutes pops up in my face again... this guy this is wild <laughs> the two of you same person I mean it's it's a little unnatural wild this is a uh... he who remains come on come on let's talk from my office This is the guy that was, uh, um, he's in Lovecraft Country. He was casted in Ant-Man 3 as, uh, what's his face? Not Dan, Kang. You're just... Kang the Conqueror. Man. Don't tell me I'm a disappointment. No. Just a little bit easier to kill. <laughs> if the guy can manipulate time, I don't know that he's going to be that Come easy on. to kill. I remember people thinking Kang was going to be a villain in WandaVision. Cool. And I remember all the theories with this guy is Please. going to be in it. Take a seat. And he wasn't. So the big bad of the Avengers after Thanos uh, is Kang. 
we're seeing okay. it. I said I wasn't to be disturbed. Well, you're not going to be happy to see me. Ooh. He's back. I already know what's going to happen. See? <laughs> it's a parlor trick. Okay. <laughs> Don't you wonder how I'm able to get out of the way just before you kill me? No, it's because of that little tem pad you have there. Right. It's all a manipulation. Interesting that your head would go to that. Selby! <laughs> and just who are you? I've been dubbed many names by many people. A ruler, a conqueror. Yep. For a while, there was peace. Narcissistic, self-congratulatory peace. I love your shoes. I love your hair. Oh, man. Nice nose. Thanks, man. Etc. I like this guy. They, yeah. They share technology. It's interesting. He's technology. chewing up scenery. Each variant fighting to preserve their universe and annihilate the others. This is almost the end, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, of everything and everyone. The TVA. Hence the timekeepers in a highly efficient bureaucracy. Hence ages and ages of cosmic harmony. Hence, you're welcome. At the same time, I think he's lonely. He's so excited to share what he's been up to. <laughs> he's been locked up right. in this place as well. Guess what? Ex good I'll chunk of existence. Keep you safe. If you think I'm evil, well, just wait till you meet my variants. Hmm. Wait till you meet the alligator variant of this guy. You thought the Loki alligator was chewing up scenes. <laughs> I've lived right. a million lifetimes. I've gone through every, every scenario. This is the only way. No more lies. You kill me and the sacred timeline is completely exposed. Multiversal four. Or you take Which would explain and the multiversal madness. The TVA and its benevolent mm. rulings. You treated real people's lives like some kind of game. Go up, Sylvie! Murderer! Hypocrite! We're all villains here. <laughs> we were all done. <laughs> it's got a point there terrible <laughs> horrific things we just crossed the threshold what the threshold the variant like the timeline fresh threshold right i flipped earlier when i said i know how everything is going to go i i know I knew everything up to a certain point, and that point was about seven, eight, nine, ten seconds ago. You either take over and my life's work continues, or you plunge your blade in my chest and an infinite amount of me start another multiversal war, and I just end up right back here anyways. Will they do it, and if they do, who does it? Right. I'm asking. She seems like she wants she, she she seems like she wants to do it more than our traditional Loki. Yeah. What are you doing? Sylvie, hang on a moment. Let's just talk about it. He's so entertained. Maybe he's lying. Maybe he's not. The cost of getting this wrong is too great. Fine. Do it! Kill me! Sylvie, stop. Ooh, jeez. I wanted to see him using his powers more, so it's kind of nice to finally see him doing it. Yeah. I just want you to be okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at that. I thought it might happen at some point. 
I was just not in that mindset in that moment. Maybe I should have been. I don't know if I missed signs there, but yeah, okay, all right, fine. I mean, I mean, he's kissing himself, but you know, whatever. But I'm not you. Oh, but but she's not him. Did, so is she? Oh. Aren't you gonna beg for your life? Um, good, good. This is her. I mean, the MCU could have a lot of fun with the multiverse war. For sure. There's other branches forming. Yeah. Uh, he still hasn't gotten on his jet ski, and I'm about to be very upset about this. I agree. He needs to be on a jet ski. What's crossing your mind right now? I feel like there was a moment there. He's probably feeling a little hurt, a little betrayed. A little rejected. That. There was a moment there where he, he, a little twitch. I thought something crossed his mind, and then now he's he's on it. That's what sixty-three new branches in this unit alone. Does he want us to just let them all branch? Well, at this point, how are we even going to stop it? We can't. What? Oh, What'd hi. By the way, someone is coming. Countless different versions of a very dangerous person, and they're all set on war. We need to prepare. Take it easy. You're an analyst, right? What division what? are you from? What are you talking about? Who are you? What's oh. your name? Who are you? What? Well, these are all variants. Well, yeah. The variants. Well, I'm just wondering where. Where? Ah, uh, 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 okay. Be a season two. All right, that makes a little bit. I, I figured they're either gonna have More to really sense. pick up where this left off from a film standpoint, or maybe another series. But yeah, for another season, that makes sense. Yeah, he who remains, Kang, that sort of thing. I thought the themes of like this person that comes from the future and that can see all of these things, the uh, uh, across space and time and all that. I thought maybe if nothing else, we'd start seeing that with Eternals. It's possible. Sony and Marvel have gone out of their way to deny that they're doing a multiverse storyline with Spider-Man, but we haven't gotten a trailer, so they could be completely lying to us just to throw us all off. There's other setups they've done, right? And the Captain Marvel setup for, what is it, Secret Invasion? So I, I don't know what they're going to do storyline-wise. Are some movies going to go one way and some movies going to go another? Um, you know, will each phase have its big baddie or are they going to try and set up another long-term one like they did with Thanos? I have no idea. You know, recent interview with Kevin Feige, he says he's not signing actors to multi-movie contracts anymore because he's kind of the idea of either you want to be in it or you don't, which would make it hard to set up for another Thanos thing. Yeah, I agree. I think Kang is such a prominent character. I'd be surprised if he isn't going to be in multiple films. But yeah, I mean, obviously, Kevin Feige already said the thing with the contracts. You're right. I mean... I don't know. It makes a logical choice that he would be the next villain after Thanos, though. Like, he is a step up. I mean, this dude's got weapons from, like, the 31st century. And it's Thanos is, like, <laughs> even though he snapped his fingers and wiped out half the universe, like, that's child's play compared to what this dude's capable of. So, Well, they, they set that up because of the, the you know, the Infinity Stones or paperweights in the TV, yep, right? Exactly. You know? um, that's a good point. Loki ended up being, to me, kind of what I was hoping it would be in that it had enough moments of humor. It was playful. It took some chances and yeah, that's what I want from anything about Loki and a season two feels okay by me. I feel like there's still a little bit yeah. more they can do. So. Absolutely. I think they're, you know, everyone likes Hillston. So, you know, absolutely bring him back for more Loki. Um, 
so yeah, his his storyline since his character is supposed to be dead in the normal t- timeline anyway, he's the one you can have the most fun and play and play with the most, you know, play the most with. Yep. So um so yeah, I'm interested in season 2. Perhaps more importantly, we have Mobius potentially still gets that jet ski experience. <laughs> we would not right. we probably would not have had that if there was not going to be another season of the show. So uh, well, I mean, what did you guys think of this the series? Uh, leave your comments down below, of course. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And until next time, this is Adam and Andrew with It Takes Two Takes.